I move the town clerk to two, two, 216,236. Second. Okay, that's one for game. Thank you. Thank you. Moving me up just a little bit. I appreciate that. Um, overall, my budget is down almost $17,000 or 7% from last year's or this current year's budget. Um, partially because we have two less elections next year in comparison to this year. Um, the, um, under the town clerk portion of the budget, the changes are an additional $1,983 for contractual ra raises for the deputy and the bookkeeper. Um, as far as part-time wages, it's an additional um, $6,864 for a file clerk, uh, which would be a new position at $11 per hour um, at 16 hours per week. Um, I'm happy to show you pictures of why I feel I need that position. Um, it's also an additional $2,432 for contractual raises for the two assistant part-time clerks. Um, the increase to the town clerk wage of 9% was a town manager recommended wage um, based on production and revenue collection. Um, it would increase, it's a total of $58,945 um, in that first year um, because, again, it wouldn't start until April 1st. Um, beyond that, it's $60,188 annually. Um, our office collects over $4 million annually, which includes $1 million on behalf of the state of New Hampshire. The remaining $3 million is revenue that remains within the town. Uh, the total budget of uh, $200,016.236 is in the town clerk's office represents 7% of the total revenue collected on behalf of the town. New programs um, that have um, increased revenue, uh, what I did was I pulled numbers when I was processing the um, information to prepare for the selectmen's meeting um, a few months ago. Um, the new programs that I've instituted in the town clerk's office from uh, September 1st, 2013 to September 1st, 2014, what these numbers represent. Uh, boats have increased the revenue by $4,000. $390, resident decals by $22,090, hunting licenses by $201, OHRV registrations $255 for a total of $26,936. I expect that as uh, those new programs um, become more popular, um, hunting licenses have started to pick up now, um, OHRV registrations will see increase again um, when snowmobiles start getting registered as soon as the snow starts flying and um, in the spring we should see you know more boats being registered etc. Jane, could, is there anywhere that there's a breakout of that list you just gave us? I can make you a copy of this. Make us a copy yep. of that? Yep. And could you also give us the dates they were implemented? Yes. Are they all implemented at the beginning of, the, did they all see a full year last year? No. Okay, that's no, why I that's want the dates. that's not for a full Thank year. You. Yeah. Um, in addition, persistence with collecting dog licenses um, collected $3,525 just in civil forfeiture fees. Those are the late fees that um, are charged mm -hmm. um, by law. Um, the increase to computer support by $332 is, is a contract for services for our software for motor vehicle and dog licensing. Um, the increase to supplies and exp expense is um, $6,055 for copier replacement. The current copier will be eight years old when and if this budget is passed uh, next spring. Uh, unscheduled maintenance is becoming much more frequent, and the copier gets a lot of use. Um, and as busy as we are, downtime creates longer lines um, as we have to you know, leave the office to use another copier if the, if the copier is down. Uh, we make copies of paperwork from almost every customer that appears at our window. Voter registration decreases by $350 because of no major elections in 2015, so no additional help in registering voters at, um, quote, busy elections um, isn't needed. And election administration decreases by $7,280 because of two less elections in 2015. Um, as far as the questions that were, were sent to me, I have to be perfectly honest with you. I wasn't 
truly clear on what the questions were just because of the way they were worded. Um, the first one is need a lot of discussion on supplies and expense. They've jumped from an actual of 5121 in 2011 to 20,300 in 2015. Well, that 5121 in 2011, number one, is four years ago, and the 20,300 is a budgeted amount. It's not an actual amount. So I, I think we're comparing apples in 2011 to oranges in 2015. So I'm not really quite clear what the question is. However, that being said, were we doing any of the special stickers back in 2011? In 11? Mm. Those started in 2000. 2012. I'm pretty sure it was 2012 we started those. So that being said, um, the 14,000 budgeted in s supplies and expense um, was budgeted in 2014 as well. The 20,000 budgeted for 2015 is 6,000 more, which is for the copier. So I'm not sure I understand where the confusion no, I, I, is. I wrote the question. Okay. And, and, uh, and I did see the 6K for the copier. So I, that's, I said to myself, that's probably where the difference is. Mm -hmm. But we did, we did spend an actual, in 011 of $5,121. We spent an actual in 12 of 10969 We had an actual in 13 of 17 We had an actual so far this year of 5500 If you annualize that, that's 7444 okay. And I just thought that's a big jump up there, twenty thousand three thirty. But if you knock out the copier for six K, it drives it down to fourteen, and and fourteen's in line with the budget of fourteen, if you will, and it's above what happened eleven and twelve. I I don't know uh, if there's any other opportunities in that or not. That's what I thought we. Um, I did see the six uh, K book binding. Is that something? Um, that you've always had, Jim? Mm -hmm. Seems to me the town manager had book binding or some kind of binding going on up in his office. He binds the selectmen's meet minutes. I, I bind births, deaths, I got you. Um, all the vital records, and the minutes of the um, town meeting. Yeah. Copier was the driver. Right. Is that to move on to the next question? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, number two, registration expense. Um, again, not quite sure what the question is, but um, this account has been budgeted at $700 every year mentioned, uh, 2011 through 2015. Expenses differ depending on the year. This is for office supplies for the supervisors that, of the checklist. That's check my list. question as well. 577 you spent in 011, 437 in 012, 42, $42 in 013, and 014 you haven't spent anything. So I thought that seven hundred dollars was a bit high. Well, and forty I, I forty-two I dollars in two thousand thirteen. Maybe four five hundred. Forty-two dollars in two thousand thirteen is because there's only one election in two thousand thirteen. Keep in mind, odd numbered years is only the March election. Even numbered years, you have the March election, sometimes a presidential primary depending on the year, and a primary in September and a general election in November. So when was the last election? September. Of what? 2014. Primary. What, what I'm, okay, let me, let me follow. You're saying the elections are in the even years or what? The federal and state elections are in the even numbered years. 12. 2012? And 14. $437 you spent into 2012. Mm -hmm. And next Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Jane? All set? Were, were there elections in 14? <laughs> There's one Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> maybe, you haven't I'll seen, be voting. maybe you haven't seen the political ads on TV. <laughs> no, my, my mailbox were full today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Town meeting expense. Again, quite, not quite sure what the question is, but I'll give you a little bit of the background on it. That was my question. The actual <laughs> requested for 2014 was $3,800, which is because there are two more elections in 2014 than 2013. The requested amount for 2015 is 2000 which is similar to 2013,
because there are only the deliberative session and town election in odd numbered years. We pay for food service for the poll workers at $600 each session. There are four elections this year, so the total for food is $2,400. The additional $1,400 is for custodial services we are quite required to pay at Winnicunit, uh, which is $900, and to print and fold the town meeting warrants of $500. I will give you a little bit of background on the printing and folding of the town meeting warrants, if I may. A few years back, when Mike Schwozer was still the finance director, um, he had taken the expense of printing and folding the town warrant um, out of my budget, which had not been budgeted in my budget before. So it came out without having an actual line item in there for the printing and folding. I went to him and said, what's this amount? He said that was for the printing and folding of the town warrant. I said, well, that doesn't come out of my department. It's not even a physical action that happens in my department. I don't order it. I didn't know anything about it. He said, well, we're going to put it in your budget from now on. <laughs> so we did. Thank you. In the last week, I have just learned that that's now being done in-house. So if you would like to take the $500 out of that line for printing and folding the town meeting warrants, I'm perfectly happy to see it go because it doesn't get charged to my account any longer because Christina does it in-house. So Christina is doing the job of doing that. That's but I wasn't aware of that until this week. So That's page on um, page 12. I'm sorry, I'm not working from the same page. 12 anymore. has printing I'm just going printing by my TM name. warrant. That's correct. Yeah, it's about the fifth line, fifth line of print down from the top. Do you want us to remove that now? Is that what you're requesting? Well, it cleans up her budget. Right. But I guess, is that ever something that could go down to your department if <laughs> Christine? Well, when you zero out a line, you zero it out. You can leave one dollar in the mm -hmm. line. That way, if it shifts back again, that line can then be... Well, filed. that's only like a subsection of the line. Right. That's only $500 of the $3,800 right. total. Right. right. So you don't have to So do you could just reduce it no, by 500 just, just reduce it. It doesn't take it all out. No. All right. If you want to clean it up, you can, there's an opportunity. Well, you know... Take it out. Our town clerk is saying take it out. So I have no problem taking it out. I need a motion. I Joe? Need a motion. Okay. Well, can you give us the line number? That is 009.4143.610. Election expenses. Reduce that by $500. Second. Town meeting. I'm sorry. Town meeting. Town meeting expense. Yeah. Yep. Minus that by $500. Second by Brian. Wrong line number. You say so it should be 3600? 3600, yes. The line is 3600 that you're adjusting. And it's budgeted for 2000, so you would reduce the 1500. 1500. Yeah. Right, Jane, is that what you said? Yep, that's correct. Yep. Should you get the line number, Mr. Yeah. You know, I want to tell you something. This job's worth more than 95 bucks. I'm telling you right now. Let me ask you why you're doing it for free then. The swell guy. Hello, self esteem. <laughs> 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 You're going to be writing it down next. Right, right. You're going to be doing yeah. it. Pretty yeah. Fun. <coughs> you vote on it? You all set to keep moving? Yeah, or that was going? motioned and seconded. Yep. And a vote to reduce that line by $500. Oh, boy. Okay, That's unanimous. Unanimous. You don't believe us. Okay. Right. Next question, you ready? Number four, um, ballot clerk expense. Seems to be an increase of approximately 3500 from previous actuals with the ex exception of 2013 when the actual was 27659 uh, I see my actual for 2013 not at 27659 I see it at, as actually 17292 unless I'm looking at the wrong number, ballot Christy. Cl ballot clerk uh, expense. Ballot election? clerk expense is what that what it says. Jerry, is that you again? I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> you tell the way you like. I thought that was the. Yeah, the, the <laughs> other ones I couldn't understand. This one I actually did. 
Um, <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Can I see the oh, question? That's 14. Hold on. 2013. Yeah. Ballot clerk wages. Yeah. No, I I think it says uh, expense. Hold on. Well, we have two different accounts under there that I think maybe we were confusing. We have ballot clerk wages and we have election expenses. This was under ballot clerk expense. Wage. Am I seeing a different? I, I, okay. I don't, you know, I, 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 what I see here in 011, maybe it was my math mistake here, but in 011 I see an actual of 3774. In 012, 13. Um, the question says 2013, so I'm not sure what you don't 2013 was 3551, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That's at the book. And 14 is 139, so. And 14 budget it was was 13 396 and so far you've spent 56 58 and now you're going to 61 16 which is an increase. No, no. no. over budget. No, no. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, no. it's a reduction. Is he, is he talking wages or yeah, is he talking? Well, the numbers he just threw out are referring to the ballot clerk right. wages. Wages. Okay. And it did. You have in for third for fourteen. You have budgeted thirteen three ninety six, and then yep. fifteen you budgeted the six one one six. I right. think that will go back to your election. That's number. back to yeah. hmm. right. more elections and even numbered years, less elections and odd numbered years. That's why right. it goes up and down. <clears throat> And I think we've killed that discussion. Yeah. All right. This is an even number year. We have more elections than we had last year. <coughs> the next question is number five. Explain the need for a new part-time employee. Well, I'm going to pass these around just because I can. I only made eight copies, so you can, if you don't mind sharing. Did I say eight copies? I can't count. That's my question as well. I mean, that's a surprise. I mean, that's a surprise. Yeah. So what a if surprise. If you guys can pass them around and, and share. The picture coming around to you is one. I might as well hold up to my errors or whatever. Jerry, pass them around. I get the idea. <laughs> Jerry, reach over there and grab those and pass them around. Thank you. The pictures you will see, it's one picture of the same drawer, but I have three drawers that look like that right now. And those are That's motor vehicle registrations, and right in, we're so busy in our office this year. It has increased. It has increased so significantly <laughs> that we don't have the time to file anymore. When we do have a little bit of downtime, we get working on it. But as soon as the customer comes to the window, the customer obviously gets first priority. Is it a permanent and, and position? Yes, part time. It's 16 hours a week at $11 an hour. Only for filing. Just for filing. Yeah. I have three drawers that look like that right now. It's backed up to June. Mm -hmm. In August, it was backed up to February. So, yes, we're making progress, but not great progress. What are those? What are they? What are those? Oh, ballot? What are Motor those? vehicle registrations. Motor vehicle registration. So this is one of these, are like one of the copies that we sign when we... Register our car. Every, right? every band, is, they're, elastic, they're in elastic bands. Right. Every band is a day. You're getting revenue for that. We have, three, yeah. we have three drawers that look like that. I didn't take pictures of all three drawers because they yeah, all look, they all the, look the same. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think just in the picture, that justifies the position. We just do not have the time to get the filing done. When and it's, it's becoming a problem because when there is um, a check with insufficient funds, the first thing I have to do is go find the registration. Yeah. Jane, you got a backlog. You've got three draws that look like that. I, re I realize that. When that's caught up, Still exist. Well, absolutely. I mean, we're looking at. Um, I, I haven't counted the bands. I'm not going to get ridiculous. I'm looking at maybe each draw representing half a month. Oh no. 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 You said each band is a day. Each right? band is no. a day. Each band is a day. There's three drawers, and they're pack They're jam packed. So not. And there's when I tell you, there's. We're backed up to. We're right now. We're starting June. <laughs> okay. In August, we were starting February. But a, a good file clerk has 16 
hours a week will get you caught up. If that's all that dedicated person is doing, they will get you caught up. When well, there's, person is there's other things to file besides those. Right. There's well, title applications to be filed, and there's a number of other things that person But how is that can, being can be done doing. now? Somebody else doing that? They're all doing it. You're all We're doing all it. trying to do it, but again, we get interrupted and and I'm just going we at can't keep up with it. My questions are on the basis of we keep expanding positions. And as we expand and create new positions, are we taking workloads away from other individuals Absolutely and freeing not. them up? There is plenty of workload for all of them, to be perfectly honest with you. Come to my office any day of the week and see the line out the door lately. And it's not because we're inept and we're not able to handle no, the customer. Say, no, it's just they all that. arrive in a bus. <laughs> not, not it seems that. they all arrive in a bus at the same time, <laughs> especially during election time, mm -hmm. you know. It's a busy, it, it's a busy office. We're busy. It's a busy, it is we're a busy, busy office. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll let and you finish. No problem. Um, so the next question is, is the OT wages and the town clerks part, part of the budget a new line? The answer to that is, yes, it was a new line in 2013. Um, it had been budgeted with the uh, regular wages, uh, part-time and full-time. Um, and in 2013, uh, the finance director asked that we create a new line item for that, for the overtime, and what happened was we took that, those amounts out of the regular wages and just moved them into the overtime account. And you budgeted, um, you had an actual of 1501 and 013, and, o, and, two, four, and 14 you budgeted 6250 and you only spent 980 today. That would be correct. That's because I spent a lot of time at the window. And my, some of my clerks were not available to work the hours that needed to be covered. It's basically that simple. <clears throat> Number seven is hours of the town clerk's office. is on the website, and it's on the door posted as you walk in tonight. But I will continue to tell you Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, and Friday, that 8 to 11. Question, 8 to 11. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm shocked. I think it's the public consumption, too. Uh, Monday through Thursday. 8 to 5. Yeah. Fridays, 8 to 1130. <laughs> Any thoughts about Saturday morning? Or anything like Absolutely that? not. <laughs> All day. Home, can I, can I tell you why? That much? <laughs> I would not put my employees in a position where we are the only ones in this yeah. building. Absolutely not. I was, I, <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, so. Moving on. <laughs> okay. Okay, Those are all the questions. So. Do you have anything else for us? All right. I'm going to start on this side and give Jerry a rest for his vocal cords. He's had enough. <laughs> Didn't anybody ask any other questions? You don't give us a chance. All right. Glenn? Uh, just one. Um, and I know you have no control over it. It's the uh, maintenance fees for computer software. Mm -hmm. Is that for one package or multiple? It is for one package. Oh, that's insane. Anyway. But they are there at our beck and call, I will tell okay. you. They are fantastic. Anytime we have an issue, they are there. And when... If it happens to be after hours after mm -hmm. we close and we're having trouble balancing or something mm -hmm. goes, they pick up their cell phones. So I just it, having you know, dealt with maintenance packages on here's a construction program I use. The yearly maintenance is twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. Battleships have yeah. been designed with it. That also gives us is a understand that's not just the maintenance contract on it. That also oh, in, okay. that also includes um, the blue book values on all the vehicles and all the updates for those okay um and obviously we have to have those in our right. office in order to produce the registration okay. so it's for um autos trucks rvs motorcycles i think boats. that's it i think that's it no it doesn't include boats that's but it. we do have boats in that software right thank you i don't have anything i i do see the need um for the additional person to help you know to help you get caught up in going forward so I, I don't really have any questions. I just the only comment is I just as a <coughs> kudos to your staff. Every time I've gone there, they've been more than helpful and they're always very professional. It's a good Thank office. You. Thank you. 
Yes, I agree too. Uh, just looking at the paper in those drawings, doesn't that lend itself to electronic filing in some way? As far as scanning them in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have to have the paper copies. I mean, it's it's all mandated by yeah. state motor vehicle. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's all it's that's beyond our control. Well, maybe we should be lobbying for the state <laughs> joining the 21st century. Mm. <laughs> that's another discussion. Yeah, that's a, I, I've got plenty of those discussions. Okay, did, you, did you have? Did you get a call from anybody to produce one of those? Jerry, you had your turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> questions. You're out of questions. <laughs> Make sure you stop with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no questions for you, Jane. Good, you run a good job. Uh, you do a good job. You run a good department. Thank so you. Thank you very right. much. Thank you. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Going back to the supply line, mm -hmm. it appears. Well, we're not done with the year, but so far this year, it's fifty-five hundred and eighty-three dollars, correct? Mm -hmm. And you budgeted a little over fourteen. Mm -hmm. I know how things run, and a lot of orders sometimes are done at the end of the year. Are we in that kind of a situation where there is an order at the end of the year? Because where I'm going with this, do you think there would be any room left in this year's budget to purchase the copier you need? That is my plan if, the, if it's there. I mean, but I can't be guaranteed that that will happen. I know. But you know, I'd love to. I'd love to be able to purchase it this year. To be perfectly honest you know with you, but I can't be guaranteed that that's going to happen. Right. right. You know where you're pacing, <laughs> okay, and you know what you have left to order. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 very typical that you have you go along all year and you see the months of November and and December blow up a little bit in purchasing because they've held back, all the department heads hold back with whatever they can until the end to make sure that absolute necessities and expenses are spent on. So there is a possibility that there may be money left in this year's budget for the purchase of that cost. May. It's a slight possibility, I will say. Okay. But that would take $6,000 out of next year's budget mm -hmm. if we could do that out of what is left in this year's budget. That's where I'm going with that. Thank you. Um, I tried to get you a raise last year. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I remember. Um, the only question, and we're, I know this is going to keep coming up on the supplies and expenses. I don't know if this comes under your heading or the HR department but are we doing anything to try and group these things together I mean going to a certain <coughs> I don't know, I'm not going to use we staples do. but we that do. idea yeah. we do we have staples so advantage in every department like is a member. our supplies and expenses Mike have gone through the roof the last two years yeah right. it already is yeah yeah Mike we all order from the same yeah. same place it's staples advantage so we get a lower price than regular staples but then it's charged to each department Right, but it just seems like every year it's up well, exponentially. Treat, Everything goes up. Yeah, that's right. Or, or I have. I, I got twenty nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thanks. I yeah. noticed. Yeah. Okay. You only noted publicly you got twenty nine dollars. Right. Anything else? <laughs> okay. Michael. I have nothing. Jane, you do a great job answering questions. <laughs> Thanks, You're very good. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, every time I come in the town hall, there's a huge line, so I can I can see the the, the need, and, and I think you guys do a great job. And I think the women at the window are very polite when you go in. I think it's, you. and you bring in a lot of revenue. They do a great job. You do a lot of revenue, so I think I think it's all well deserved. Jane, uh, it seemed to me uh, one of copies gets a lot of abuse. Mm -hmm. It'd be far better off to lease it, have it. A, annual part of your budget you'd get your maintenance that all depends on how the town feels about leasing a copier right, I have I have, have no issue with it. it I really don't we will go for that the other point I want to make is all your paper records that you may have to keep mm -hmm. under state law and they're all on the computer so you could actually be filing every day into a banker's box all your registration just have four or five boxes put 
directly in the box every day? We actually, at the end of the year, we have 14 drawers of registrations. It's not something that fits in three bankers' boxes. Well, you, we do 19,000 registrations a year. Because when you, when you need a record, you go to the computer. No, we do not. You actually pull it? I have to make a photocopy. I am not allowed by law to print another copy of a registration unless I charge $18 for it. Hmm. So, no, I have to make a photocopy. It's not as simple as it's not. It's I know it, it should be simpler than that, but unfortunately, it's not. No. The reason I'm raising <laughs> is I spent ten years as the records manager for TD Bank. I had twenty-five thousand boxes of records there, and I know what the the law requires. And I also bank. know that. But that's a bank. That's right. not motor vehicle yeah, registrations. Well okay. Yeah. Joe, do you have any questions? Uh, the only thing I can say is. Um, you know, the part-time, you, know, you do the math, that's 832 hours a year. That's a little over $9,000. And the way she's trading on uh, expenses, you know, year-end, <coughs> she'd be around a little over $9,000. You had the $6,000, she's, you know, she's going to be over budget to get the copy of this year. Right well, that part-time employee is until, until no, no. April. I'm your not following is, you. part-time is one thing. What I'm saying is, yeah. I'm saying... Your part-time employee is going to be nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Okay, that's one. Your supplies, the way your supplies are going. We're talking about your new new copy machine this year. The way you're trending right now, year end is going to be around a little over nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars. If you had the six thousand, you're going to be fifteen. Right. So you're going to be right. able to budget on that. So just the way you're trending right now, it's not going to happen yeah. this year. I mean, I could pull um, partial funds from. Um, our election portion. I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of a background on that. When I budget for um, town meeting, in 2008, I believe it was, we had 73 Warren articles, yeah. which produced 13 cards. Mm -hmm. I had budgeted for six. It cost us $11,000 for ballots that year. So from that point on, I said, not going to do that again. We're going to budget for 13 cards to be on the safe side because we re don't really know and from what I've heard we're trending toward that number again for March yeah I think we're so I could pull from what we had left from this year in order to, to, to cover that up. if I you know if I had to mm -hmm. yeah exactly okay, okay. So. okay. Her, her total department is 216 no nope, her total department I mean no no on um, page 12 I know what it is. I mean, what I'm saying, she spent one one sixty two oh one two here today. If you annualize that out, that's two sixteen. She'll have room for the copier, which she thinks she'll go over budget in consideration. If you annualize the actual today in her department. It's Jerry. The thing that I brought up about that is that it's never a done deal till we get to the end. I understand. When we so get we'll, to review, we'll know. We'll know right. the final. But I'm review. putting a flag up there. That's a big amount. Gonna Six thousand. Right, going to have the money. If it can be spent in this year's budget, it would be a good thing and something to put a mark in your book, and we won't know if it's doable until we get into right. December. That's a good point, though, to make. Okay. All right. Now I'm looking down. Page 12. Do you have anything else you want to add to that? Okay. Um, I have a total for election registration and vital records of 243000 and. Three hundred and no, am I wrong? Four two forty seven six zero four. We separated. I separated that. Oh, okay. One zero four. See, that's why we have you there to keep me straight. <laughs> Look at page eleven. All right. Uh, page twelve is not correct. That's right. All right. Well, then could I have the correct number with the adjustment of the five hundred dollars because that's the number. Two hundred forty seven thousand one hundred and four dollars. Correct. Okay. Well, Thank you. Cut five hundred out. Yeah, you're right. I'm looking at the wrong page. Right. Yeah, you. I, I, did, you know, I need you here for but me. But we did move the total. Right. We we moved. Moved the wrong total. The town yeah, clerk's subtotal of two sixteen two thirty six. That's what we moved. Right. So we should vote on that first, and then go over here to the total. In just this and vote, one. Vote right. that. We didn't make any adjustments in the first part. No. No. All right, so, so going back to the original. So we go back. Page 7. Okay, that's 16, 236. 
Okay. No adjustments were made to that. No. Is no. that a motion, Joe, to accept that? Do I have a second? Second. Mike seconds. Okay. All those in favor of it? Accepting the 216, 236. Opposed? No one's opposed. It's unanimous. Yes. Right. Now going to page 211. 247. Where it's 247. 104. 104. 104. Because we cut the five out. Five Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Jerry yeah. made the motion. Yeah. I'll second. Joe seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? No one? Unanimous. Yeah, that's a good Jane, thank you very thank you. much. Thank you. Don't forget.